Hello everyone, this is Wade from High Tech Legion, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Sapphire Tricks Tweak Utility, and we're going to be overclocking the Sapphire Radeon R9 272GB Dual X Edition, uh, giving you a tutorial on that. So, first things first, let's take a look at the utility. And what we have here, you can see, is four tabs, a drop-down box, and a few buttons. So you have minimize and close, temperature display, info page. The info page shows you all of the detailed technical information on your graphics card. You can uh, save the BIOS from here. You can also save a report of this information. In the drop-down box, you can flip between multiple graphics cards. We are using a AMD A10 7850K processor, so the R7 graphics on that do show up in here. On your overclocking tab, you have three controls, your GPU clock, your memory clock, and your voltage control. You also have four profiles that you can save settings to, an apply button and a reset button. Fan control, so you can do an automatic fan speed adjustment, fixed where you just set it, or custom where you actually build a fan curve profile. Simply by clicking on spots of this and dragging them up so that cranks up at certain temperatures. I'm going to leave mine on automatic and you can see you also get the current fan speed here, the current temperature on this tab as well. Under settings you have a few important things. Load on Windows Startup so that will load the utility when Windows starts. Start minimized you probably would want that so that it goes straight down to the tray and you don't have to see the thing pop up on you and restore clocks. So once you get a stable overclock that you want to use 24-7, you can check this box and say, and restore clocks. But while you're kind of tweaking and playing with things, you don't want to do that. So that way, if it uh, blue screens on you, you can bring it back up and it's not going to try to run at those clocks again and continuously blue screen. Synchronized cards in multi-GPU config. So if we had say two R9 270s in here, it would synchronize the settings across both of them. We also have show effective memory clocks, so that changes the memory from the actual megahertz to the effective memory speed. Force constant voltage, so if you wanted to uh, set your voltage and lock it in on the card, you could check that. You can install a Windows sidebar gadget gadget. You can set the clock on change instead of apply. You can save the fan settings with the profile, which you probably would want to do if you are building a custom profile. And you can disable ULPS in here. I have to adjust the voltage. So we'll click reset, bring them all back to default since I was touching the voltage. And we're going to set the GPU clock actually at 1043 megahertz. That's what we had previously been able to test it at before. And I'm going to set the memory clock to 1525 and then click apply. So that brings our settings into line. And what we're going to do here is pull up Unigen Heaven and We've got our settings set, DirectX 11, Ultra Quality Extreme Tessellation, 8x Anti-Aliasing, and 1920 by 1080 resolution. I am going to run it in windowed mode so we can see this uh, utility in the background. However, uh, this is basically the some of the highest settings you can get in here unless you have a higher resolution monitor. So we'll click run here. And so 
obviously we wait for it to load so for the uh, dragon to fill up and then the program comes up and we click benchmark and we will be right back to show you the end results so here our benchmark has finished and as you can see our final result is 25.9 frames per second with our overclock at 1043 megahertz on the gpu clock and 1525 on the memory clock we did not have to do any voltage bumps to to get it stable at this clock though your mileage definitely may vary on your cards every piece of silicone is a little bit different so we also left the fan controls at default speeds and i hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on overclocking the sapphire r radeon r9 272 gig dual x edition as well as the sapphire tricks tweak utility for the full review please see www.hitechlegion.com don't forget to subscribe to our youtube facebook and twitter pages and take care